Extreme is finally back in MLB The Show. If you guys saw my last video, it was a walkthrough of my moments in my showdown, which I told you guys I would have a conquest video for you. So here we go. We have a conquest video to try to help you guys get this done quick, get it done easy, and hopefully get you guys through the conquest extreme and all the program very, very fast. This Conquest Extreme map is a hundred times easier than the one in MLB The Show 20. I'm not saying this one is easy i'm not saying it's hard but the one in 20 was so much more involved there are many more teams so many more turn-based turns as well this one is a lot easier it should get quick as well we don't have to play anything above hall of fame or legend and then so 20 all the games are on hall of fame and legend so kind of give you guys a little bit of a thought of how it used to be compared to what it is now um i wish it was a little bit harder in my opinion but it is what it is Let's get right into this thing. Let's teach you guys how to get through this and what I did to get through it as quick as possible. So here is the map we're looking at for Conquest Extreme. So there are 15 total teams on this map. We do have to do some steal games as well. So there you have to steal at least nine fans before your ninth turn. I think the best way to do that and the easiest way is just do it on All-Star. You get three stolen fans each time. So you do it three times. So technically... You should only be playing 18 games on this Conquest map. At least that's what I did, and I think that's the quickest way for almost anybody here. So there are a couple of different ways to kind of go about this Conquest map. I don't know if there really is one set one you want to do, but what I did off the rip right here, and I think what you guys should do as well, is we're going to go ahead and attack the Brewer. So if we go over up in here, go right there, you're going to have one that you actually have to do a simulated game, which isn't bad at all, not too hard. Boom, did that. And if you go right to here, you might get attacked there too. Don't worry about that. But you get right here. You can play this game on All-Star. It's not hard at all. All-Star is totally fine. And make sure you guys are stacking your carry wood right here because you do get some nice PXP on All-Star. You actually get 1.2 PXP per mission as well. So keep that in mind. That's why I always did all my games on All-Star. Even if there's a game on Rookie or Veteran, I skipped that because I want to do an All-Star to get the extra PXP. But what you're going to do is you're going to be playing the Brewers right here. It should be pretty set, pretty easy. Once you finish them off, you're going to go all the way down to here. We're going to go one, two. I would not try to steal right there because I think you'll have, so it'll be nine, so it'll be eight, seven, six. I don't want to leave that to the chance right there. So what we're going to do, so obviously let's pretend that we just went ahead and got the Brewers done. We're going to go ahead and go to Steel Fan. So... What I did on this one is I always stole the fans of the one I was about to take because that makes the game a little bit easier too and make sure that you guys aren't playing any games on Hall of Fame or Legend. So looking right here, we're going to go look at the Brew or the Braves, I should say. Let's go right here. We're playing that game on All-Star. So if you look at the goals, which is one thing I should have talked about in the beginning right here. So these are all the goals you guys have to follow right here in order to finish off this Conquest Extreme. So... Goal number one, capture one enemy stronghold on the first turn, which right there we would have done with the Brewers. Goal number two is to capture two enemies in the stronghold by the second turn. So what we would do, again, like I said, we're going to go steal against the Braves. Then we'll go ahead and capture them on the second turn, which, again, in return, should gift you, again, another game on All-Star, which shouldn't be too bad at all. After that game against the Braves, we have another Steel Fans game. So if we scroll down really quick, if you go down to... So there's a Steel 6 million. I think there's a Steel 3 million somewhere. Yeah, Steel 3 million. So again, play a game on All-Star. Steel 6 million, another game on All-Star. And then Steel 9 million by your ninth turn, another game on All-Star. So that'll be three stolen games right there. So what we do is we go to the Braves, Steel 3 from them, and then we go and attack them and go to our second turn and eventually steal them as our stronghold. So we have two strongholds done in two turns. So let's go over again what we are doing here. Like I said, we're going to go attack the Brewers. Once you attack the Brewers, we're going to steal fans from the Braves on All-Star. Then you'll go ahead and attack the stronghold of the Braves. Then we're going to move down to the Twins. Kind of rinse and repeat what I said we've been doing so far. We're going to steal the fans from the Twins. Then ultimately steal their stronghold and take over that one right there. Then I went ahead and went to the uh, the Padres. So the Padres, we're going to go ahead and steal one more time. That's all you do. Three steal games on All-Star. You get nine. That's all I need to worry about. Then we're going to take over their stronghold. Each one of these times, you guys should be playing on All-Star. Again, I'm going to keep reiterating that. You should not be playing anything above All-Star. Some of these you can actually get below that as well. And then lastly, the last one we're going to go to is the Diamondbacks. You don't have to steal anymore. Just play the Diamondbacks and take over their stronghold. And then you have all the turn-based missions done and completed.
So once you kind of have that finish, it's just like a regular conquest map. I'm going to go ahead and talk about the ways that I went about it. You guys don't have to fall this way. I think this is probably the best way in my opinion, but this is how I went ahead and finished the conquest map. So like I said, we took, we took over the Diamondbacks. Then we went to the San Francisco Giants, got that one done, got cleaned up. After that, we move up to the Rockies. So what I'm trying to do is trying to solidify the West half to try to get that over with. Don't have to worry about it anymore. So we go to the Rockies, and then lastly, you'll take over the Mariners. So at this time, you should have all of this out to about right here all taken care of so far. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You should have nine strongholds taken care of here, which means you have six more strongholds to take over. So what did next then? We went down to the Pirates. Got them cleaned up, got them taken care of, moved along to the Tampa Bay Rays. So then right here, you should have everything on this side of the map already all done. Then I went ahead and moved along to the Kansas City Royals. Again, all these games should be on anything below All-Star. If you want to go lower, you can. But make sure you guys are using carry wood the entire time so you're getting that PXP form. Because you do at least have to get into P4 to finish off the entire program if you get the conquest the showdown and all the moments done once you take over the royals i went ahead and went to the baltimore orioles and then we went up to the oakland a's got them done finished up and then lastly went to the washington nationals and then you should finally clean up with the florida or miami marlins down there not too bad the conquest i think ultimately took me if i remember right probably three hours or so it does take a little bit of time to get it done. It's just tedious. Every conquest map, again, is just a bunch of tedious stuff. It's never too hard. This is probably the hardest one just based off of like all the turns and everything based off of that. But playing the game should not be very hard. I think all in all, we did the moments in about a little bit under three hours. The showdown, I think, was another hour and a half. And the conquest map took me, I think, around two hours, two and a half hours, maybe three hours to get it done. And then once I got done with the conquest map, just to kind of finish up the program, I had, I think, 650 PXP points left to get carry wood. Just got that done. And then you go ahead and you finish the program and you have it all done. There are some other ways to do it, too. You actually never have to go into extreme to finish extreme. You can get 25,000 XP. Granted, this will take you a very long time to do. If you don't want to do anything extreme, it'll take you a very long time to get it done. But you can do it outside of doing extreme. But... If you guys have some time, you guys can sit down, do it in chunks, do it in hours. I did a full Twitch stream of pretty much finishing off the entire thing, which all in all, I think took about eight hours, eight and a half hours or so around there. So it will take you a long time to get done. Just keep that in mind. It's going to be a long, long thing to get done. But once you get it over with, man, you get some great, great rewards. You get uh, Kerry Wood, Araldus Chapman. These are all Retro Finest 99s. You also get a Robinson Cano card, which a lot of people are stoked about. And then ultimately, you get Josh Donaldson at the last one. So a lot of really good cards here. Chapman will be your best left-handed reliever, probably the best reliever in the game. Kerry Wood, I haven't faced him on online, so I'm not sure how good he actually will be. It'd be interesting to see how good he can be, especially like those higher difficulties on Hall of Fame and Legend. Robinson Cano... Him and Jackie Robinson, probably the best second baseman in the game right here. And then Josh Donaldson is pretty much George Brett. A little less fielding, I think, and maybe a little bit less on maybe some of the contact and whatnot than George Brett. But he's good. He'll be very good. Josh Donaldson has a fantastic swing, too. So I really highly recommend trying to get these cards. Put a little time into it. It should be pretty easy. Could be a breeze. Just put a little time into it. I mean, everything takes a little bit of time. It's a little bit tedious. But once you get it done, I promise you guys will not regret it. And your team will be looking juicy. I, I got to think, too, another collection is going to be coming up here soon. So, Retro Finance Collection. Add to that. With all the Retro Finance cards we have now, there are so many in the game. So, make sure you guys are getting ready for another collection probably in the next month or so. There should be at least two more. At least we were following what it was last year. There were four last year. So, all in all, that's how you finish the Conquest. You guys saw the walkthrough of the moments that showed in the last video. So, you guys want to watch that before this one? It'll be right there for you guys. But hopefully, this video helps you guys out a little bit, gets you done with the Extreme Program. And enjoy the cards, man. It kind of seems like everything's kind of winding down now. Uh, maybe it'll be a second part to Extreme, too. Just maybe a little bit harder, but... We'll see, but hopefully you guys found, you know, some help in this. Hopefully it helped you guys out. And uh, if it did, make sure you guys hit the like button for me. Make sure you guys are subscribing as well. Give me some comments down below again of the Conquest map, what you guys think about it. But I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.